In this video, we're going to show you how to install the ABS speed sensors on your Toyota Tundra located behind the front wheels. Using a 22 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and loosen and remove your lug nuts. Okay, grab that wheel, remove it, and set it aside. Now with the front wheel removed, you can go ahead and locate your ABS speed sensor right here. It's on the front portion of the knuckle, and you can see the wire coming out of it. Now we need to disconnect this from the sensor itself. I'm gonna use a pocket screwdriver, and we did go ahead and spray this down with some solvent to get a lot of the road debris out of it. Now right inside this little notch right here, there's gonna be a little tab. I'm gonna insert my pocket screwdriver right inside, and there's a little tab in there. I'm gonna twist this up gently. And go ahead and pull this off. Now sometimes, if you can't get that connector to come off, you can use something like this, a pair of hose pliers or something, to gently grab that connector and just gently wiggle it back and forth while you have that tab up and pop that off. I'm just gonna tuck that up to the side right now. And we have the sensor right here and then it's held in place with an Allen key. We're gonna use a number five Allen key to go ahead and loosen and remove this screw. Go ahead and spin that out and set that aside. Now we're gonna be reusing this, so don't lose it. Now that we have our connector off, we now wanna go ahead and remove this from the knuckle itself. Now in some cases, if you're lucky, you can simply twist this back and forth and that sensor will come out. In our case, it's kind of stuck in place and we do risk this breaking off inside the knuckle. I'm gonna grab this gently with some pliers and we did spray it down with some penetrant to hopefully loosen this up a little bit. And we're trying to work this back and forth and it is pretty stuck in there. So what we're gonna try and do here is I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver. Now this is, I kind of took this and I put this into a grinder. You're gonna end up ruining a flathead screwdriver or you can use something similar. But ideally you wanna try and get behind here and loosen this. Now you wanna do this gently if you wanna try and take it out in one piece. Worst case, if this does break off, we would simply drill this out. But if we can pull it out in one piece, it'll save us some time and headache. Now, as I'm twisting this, I'm gonna try and pull this out at the same time. Now, our sensor is spinning around back and forth, but it just won't pull out. It could be the amount of corrosion that's inside here. So we're just gonna work at this. And there's a very good chance that this is going to break. Just like that. So a sensor broke off. There it is right inside. Not a big issue. What we're gonna do is use a drill bit, clean that out and make sure we get that whole port cleared. And then we'll go ahead and install our new sensor. Now ideally when you're drilling this out, you don't wanna go all the way through and then hit the tone ring on the other side.
Now right inside here we have the ABS port and you can see how clean it is. You can see that axle rotating. Ideally you can use a pocket screwdriver to get inside here to clean out any of that residual plastic. Make sure that the port is clean and then we can install our new sensor. I'm going to spray this with some solvent, clean everything out, and then just work our sensor into place. Get and push that into place, and then grab our bolt, line that up, and get that started. Let's go ahead and snug that down. Take your connector. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and spray this out with some solvent to get any debris out of it. Ours is pretty clean at this point. Push that on. And you're gonna feel it in here, it snap into place. Now, if you happen to have a check engine light on on the dash, you wanna go ahead and use your scan tool, clear that code, install your wheel, and take it for a road test. Get that wheel lined up on there. Let's get our lug nut started. Go ahead and snug these down. Grab your center cap if you have these. When torquing down your lug nuts, you want to go ahead and torque the steel wheel down to 154 foot-pounds. If you have the aluminum wheels, it's 97 foot-pounds. You want to torque this in a crisscross pattern. And you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.